Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like our old days. It is, isn't it? And we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Mike Folden is the assistant warehouse manager of Port Coquitlam Costco. We have I think I counted 23 Costco employees, and look how young some of these employees are. Wow, such an early age to get a job. Uh, Mike, how long has Costco been helping out? Uh, 25 years, since 1990. And what do you do? We, uh, the biggest thing we do is our, our members that shop with us, they, uh, they donate and, uh, you know, they buy the icons, the balloons, and uh, Jeans Day, and that's the, that's the biggest part of our, our fundraising for the month of May. And, um, and that's yeah, the only month you do it, right? That's uh, 13 warehouses in BC and our uh, regional office and our depot. And so, yeah, it's a month of May and a pretty big number. So Okay, hold on now. I just want to see something. All right, yeah. It's true. Costco does things in bulk. Go ahead. Show us how much. Why don't you tell us? $2,150,000. Can you believe that? $2,150,000. A big thank you to everybody from Costco and all the people who, of course, go to Costco as well. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. And that's more than last year, right? That, uh, yeah, we beat out last year, so. All right. Back to you guys. Of course, we mentioned it's our uh, Miracle Maker panel. Uh, Costco Wholesale is our uh, first at Miracle Maker Up, and we want to introduce you to the many people that have come out here from Costco to help us out. First off, uh, Ted Nijar. Ted is the Assistant Warehouse Manager at Willingden, and this is his third time on the panel. He's very busy. Uh, Rafael Badeco is the Front End Manager of the Willingdon Warehouse. This is his fourth year on the panel. Loretta Freilich is uh, the Merchandise Manager at Richmond's Warehouse, and this is her second time on the Miracle panel as well. We also have John Moffat. John is the Assistant Warehouse Manager at Richmond and his first time on the panel. John, welcome aboard. Steve Foster is the Assistant Warehouse Manager at Richmond and this is his fourth time on the panel. Mike Fulton is the Assistant Warehouse Manager at Port Coquitlam and that is my Costco as well, so I'm glad to see that Mike's here. Also, Jackie Howman is the Acting Marketing Manager for Western Canada. It's her first year on the panel and she looks like she's having a lot of fun. She's answering a lot of calls, of course. And we also have... Uh, Russ Miller, Senior Vice President of Costco, is with us as well. And Russ, good to have you back. Good to be here. So uh, just talk a little bit about the, the commitment that Costco has to supporting Children's Hospital. Well, we've, we've worked with the hospital for 25 years, and uh, we raised a lot of money for the hospital. This year was our first year, over $2 million. It was $2 million, and that's just, uh, there's a lot of great commitment out there from our members and our employees. Everybody that's involved in this is really excited about it. And so. Talk about the employees and just uh, getting behind everything. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Port Coquitlam is my Costco, and uh, when I go in there during the month, it, it's crazy, and they love it, and they're having a great time. Yeah, the atmosphere is great. Everybody's excited about it. You can see all the balloons on the front end. They just really just do a terrific job. And uh, talk about being here tonight and answering some of the, the calls here. It's uh, good for you guys as well to, to be a part of this. Yeah, it's great. You know, the, the, the hospital really is a, it's a, it's a great cause. It's something that we get behind every year, and it's just great to be able to reach out and talk to people uh, and, and get donations during this great, this great event. Well, great to have you here. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Great. Thank you. All right, good people at Costco and uh, led by Russ Miller, their senior vice president. Uh, well, get the clocks ready to go. We're going to have our miracle match in just a second. But first, I want to say hello to uh, Steve Foster with uh, Costco. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Good. Now, we've run into each other in the stores. Uh, you used to be in Port Coquitlam. You're now in Richmond, of course. And uh, just talk about what's going to happen in this uh, next, little, next few minutes. Well, this next few minutes, Costco's going to match every donation that comes in on the phone. So uh, anytime, if you call in, if you waited, now is the time. Yeah. And, uh, and just talk a little bit about the, the commitment for Costco again uh, for being here at the hospital. Well, it's something that uh, we're, we're truly blessed to have the employees with so much dedication and the generosity of our members just to produce like our new record for uh, 2.15 million this year. Um, it was just fantastic. It came from 13 warehouses, our regional office and our depot. So just a great contribution by all. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we're really looking forward to this. So we really need the phones to start going. So let's get this clock ready to go. And let's start this clock right now. It's time for our first miracle match of the evening. For the next three minutes, our friends at Costco will match your donation. Now is the time. If you have a donation, 
you will double it for BC Children's Hospital. Uh, Steve Foster, of course, the manager, wants you to call, as everyone does, of course. And let's get those phones ringing. we got two minutes and uh, 40 seconds left on this. And, of course, whatever you make a donation to, of course, everything is going to be double for that. Chanel, we want to get these phones ringing, my friend. Hey, we're, try we're trying to hear. Uh, i got a <laughs> new member of the family here. He's trying to get you guys all hyped up. You know what? The best thing about this is you don't even need a Costco membership, and we're going to match anything. Uh, so if you call now, uh, go online. Costco will match everything that you put in. So call 310-BCCH, right? That's right? right, little guy. What do you think, Catherine? You can also donate online at MiracleWeekend.com. BC Children's Hospital is here for all of the children in this great province, whether you live right here in Vancouver or all the way up in Fort Nelson. Call now. All right, come on, BC. There's not much time left. You cannot call timeout. You can't roll out of bounds. You can't take a knee. The clock's going to keep running. This is your chance to make an impact in the lives of BC's kids. You know, the smaller the patient is, the more the need for specialized medical equipment, say like tiny blood pressure cuffs for premature newborns to adult size for teens, call now. Have your donation doubled in the Costco Miracle Match. Please, Sophie, Luca, help us out. Here we are, we are hanging up, we're looking at, oh, there it is. How much time is left on the clock? Uh, one minute, 25 seconds. Less than 90 seconds, so what do you think? How about a challenge, Luca, to the people watching right now out there? Let's challenge all the families of cystic fibrosis patients to make a donation during this miracle match. What do you think of that? Would that work? Your donation, of course, will be doubled by Costco for the next one minute, eight seconds. So get your donation in now. Good idea? Very good idea. Hey, anyone who knows Luca, too. All of Luca's friends. Steve? <laughs> That's right. Uh, the phones are ringing here. Of course, we're trying to keep uh, everyone active, and they are going. And these are just the ones you see on camera. Of course, we also have ones in the back as well that are ringing. We have one lady who's not on her phone. Two at the end right now. We got to get those phones ringing. This is the perfect opportunity for you to make a donation right now because it is going to be doubled, of course, because uh, Costco is doing that for us. And we're getting down. We've got. 35 seconds left to go here, and we want you to make a call as quick as you can. The numbers again, 310-BCCH or 310-2224. It's that simple. Make a donation right now. It gets doubled. These phones are starting to ring here. Someone's put up, hi, Alex. Hi, Bob. We got that going there. We need Russ on his phone right now. Oh, I just heard a phone going off. That's what we want to hear. The more we can, you got to call right this second because this is going to be the end of it. We got 10 seconds left, folks. If you don't make a call right now, you're going to miss out on the opportunity. So pick up the phone right now and call 310-BCCH, 310-224. And BC, you did it. Thank you very much for being a part of our first Miracle Match this weekend. And thank you to Costco for being a tremendous supporter of BC Children's Hospital. Now, how easy is it to get people involved in this as far as, the, you know, the customers? And, and I'm sure they just love to make a donation to the hospital. You know what, that's, that's, that's what it's all about for us. It's all grassroots fundraising. Uh, we've got hundreds and, uh, hundreds and hundreds of suppliers that support us. But as well, we've got hundreds of thousands of customers that come into our stores. And it's those people that help us, a dollar at a time grassroots, to raise all the money that we raise throughout the year. And, and that's an important point is throughout the year. It's not, you know, one big fundraiser. There's a lot of things going on uh, in all different stores. Oh, there's so many things going on in, in, in all the different retailers at different times throughout the year. So we're very, very lucky to have the customers that we have. Yeah, I actually was in uh, two of the of the committee stores and I actually, I said, you know, at the cash register, they go, can you want to help? I said, sure. And then I went to the next one. They said, can you help as well? I said, oh, I'll do it again. Why not? <laughs> Which is what you want, right? That's exactly what we want. <laughs> just just a nice, easy ask. And, and, and our customers are so generous. Yeah. They're so generous. It's, sure. it's We couldn't do what we did do today with other suppliers and our customers. And talk a little bit about the staff of all those uh, companies as well. Well, it's, it's, it's those people on the front lines that, that come up with these innovative ideas on how to raise money a dollar at a time. We're selling icons, we're doing hot dog sales, uh, we're sponsoring people, we're doing pie eating content. There's just so many things that they do year in and year out. It's just fantastic. And then we're out there doing round it. We're rounding up at the tills and asking customers for that. We're doing golf tournaments. Uh, there's just so many. There's things. lots. Oh, <laughs> you can't right. them. Well, there's that many, and then there's got to be a big total. So let's uh, we'll get in front of here with the kids. I know they're going to turn around. Okay, you guys ready to go? Okay, here we go. We got a three, a four, one, nine, nine, six, and a six. Six million six hundred. Well, thank you very much for the retail and wholesale division. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.
Overweighty Food Group for helping me get the best care possible, closer to where I live. Costco fundraises to help make kids like me healthier. Thank you. I can do kids stuff too. Retailers of BC, you rock! I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love going to the hospital. <laughs> Well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me, though, that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved. And it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. And we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right. We gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero, zero eight, eight. Thank it's you very much, British Columbia. Wow. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play, through grateful lies, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, yes they do Here's hoping someday what happens for you and peace
peace comes to you from above.